So thank you, thank you, Jim, and thank you all. This, uh, when I got the, the call about this uh, a, a couple of months ago, it came as a truly unexpected uh, surprise and honor. I have been a lucky guy at every step of my career, and just as a lawyer, I'm grateful to uh, work on cases that matter. But I, one thing I can say unequivocally is that there is nothing that I have accomplished in my time of public service that is uh, not directly due to the uh, talent and determination of others, including my colleagues. Uh, Joel Levin is in the audience today. Joel is our first assistant U.S. attorney, which means that he actually runs the office while I'm busy accepting awards. Um, <laughs> Joel, Joel was part of the Operation Safe Road team and the tri Ryan trial team with me. He's worn a lot of hats over uh, the years, and he would be the first to agree with me when I say that our team and that process was made great by the leadership of another great public servant, Patrick Collins, who went on to lead the Illinois Reform Commission, write a darn good and underutilized book about reform in state government, and I think, ultimately, I think, serve on the board of this uh, organization as well. And no different for me now as the U.S. Attorney than back then during those safe road days. Every success in my narrative is due directly to the talent and determination of others. When I got a job as an Assistant United States Attorney in this Chicago office in 1997, um, I told my parents I felt like I had won a spot on the U.S. Olympic team. And that uh, analogy still resonates for me. We have amazing athletes at the U.S. Attorney's Office with really unparalleled uh, integrity and commitment uh, to doing the job. Our assistant U.S. attorneys get paid less than first-year associates at some of the big law firms in this town, and yet they know more, and they do more, and they work harder, and they uh, do that. They make those sacrifices personal and financial because they care about the truth, about accountability, about justice. So it is uh, on behalf of the women and men um, that I'm honored to accept this award. They have. Uh, they have truly earned it at the U.S. Attorney's Office. One other comment, and that is, as good as this office is, and I do believe it is the best, um, we can't do it alone, and frankly, we haven't done it alone. For a lot longer than I've been around, our office's successes have relied in part on whistleblowers and watchdog groups and the media. When we bring indictments, sometimes we garner uh, major headlines, but often our efforts are preceded by uh, other people outside of government who also care about good government. I remember well when uh, Andy Shaw was among the many reporters, and I've seen already several others in this room, who were chasing story after story uh, of the corruption that underscored Safe Road and the Ryan case, licenses for bribes and sweetheart contracts and leases and undisclosed financial conflicts of interest. And as somebody who was deeply enmeshed in that investigation for years, I can tell you that our team was sometimes helped by uh, the efforts of Andy and others to find and report on things that may otherwise not have come to our attention. So look, as cursed as we may sometimes feel in this state due to our sad history of corruption and graft, I personally feel very blessed to work in a place with so many great professionals who care, who uh, care and who fight for what's right. Um, I want to thank the BGA. I want to thank the terrific uh, media and journalists that we have in this town. I want to thank the whistleblowers and the citizens, including so many of you who see something and say something or otherwise have found and are finding ways to be part of the solution. It is with great humility and respect and deep gratitude that on behalf of the United States Attorney's Office, I accept this award. Thank you.